셋, 별 Hey guys! In today's video, we will talk about physics. And our topic is distance and displacement. So without further ado, let's get started! When we go to school, we should be able to cover a distance. Other than that, we should also be able to cover our displacement with respect to our original position or home, which is usually taken as a reference point. So if I may ask, what exactly is a distance and a displacement? Well, a lot of you will say that they are just the same but different words. But no, it's not. What really is the difference between distance and displacement? Let us know first what the distance is. Distance is a total length between the initial position of an object and its final position as it goes along a specific path. For example, this jeepney driver is traveling from the terminal to Starbucks. As a result, the entire path that the driver took is the distance he covered. The distance is said to be a scalar quantity. So, what is a scalar quantity? This is fully described by a magnitude or numerical value with no direction. Take a look at this sample. Hi, I'm Jake. Going to school, I walk 5 meters to the north, 3 meters to the west, and another 3 meters to the north. So what is the total distance I traveled going to school? To find this, we'll just need to simply add the distance traveled by Jake from its original position to the north, which is 5 meters, north to the west, which is 3 meters, then west to the north, which is 3 meters. So the total distance that Jake traveled is 11 meters. Let's move on to the next one. What is displacement? It is points from an object's initial position to its final position and has a magnitude that equals the shortest distance between the two points. The displacement is said to be a vector quantity. Why? They are fully described as a magnitude and a direction. The displacement is the shortest distance from the initial position to the final position. For example, the jeepney traveling from the terminal to Walking Street is 5 meters north. Another 5 meters north going to BGC. And 3 meters west going to St. Peter. So the terminal is our initial point, And St. Peter is the final position. Let's say terminal to St. Peter is 10 meters. So that's the magnitude. But we still need to find the direction. We can find the direction by using a compass. If the terminal is here, we can see that St. Peter is located to the west. So to summarize everything, the displacement of the jeepney is 10 meters going to the west. Did you get it? So take note that the distance traveled by an object is represented as broken lines and its displacement is represented by continuous lines. Let's have an another example. A jeepney travels around four places, and each one is 5 kilometers apart. From the terminal to BGC, Starbucks, Walking Street, St. Peter, and then back to the terminal, determine the distance and displacement. Let us begin with the terminal going to BGC which is 5 kilometers, then BGC to Starbucks, also 5 kilometers. Another one is going to Walking Street, which is 5 kilometers, and then going to St. Peter, also 5 kilometers, and lastly, going back to the terminal, which is 5 kilometers. We will just simply add the given to get the distance. The total distance traveled by the jeepney is 25 kilometers. And by getting the displacement, we need to find the initial position and the final position. So our initial position is the terminal, and our final position is also the terminal. Therefore, there's no displacement in this sample. Just simply write zero. 
So that's it guys. I hope you learned a lot from our topic for today. See you next time. And thank you for watching this video.